morning girls and happy July. I missed you all last week, but it was the fourth, so I didn't upload on Thursday, but we've actually just gotten back from vacation. We were up at my parents' house and we are going to be doing a That Mom Day in the Life routine. You girls have been loving my That Mom series as well as the Glow Up to 40 series. I figured today would be the perfect opportunity to continue a That Mom routine because the kids are home from camp today. They only go like two, sometimes three days per week. We pay for three days, but oftentimes with all of the appointments and things I have scheduled, I don't think we've had a full three day week. So as you would have seen this morning, I emptied the dishwashers. Ronan woke up before Sawyer. Sawyer actually just woke up. So I had to make my bed because she wound up in our bed in the middle of the night. So I had my lemon ginger tonic this morning. And now I'm just finishing up my second protein coffee. If you haven't seen the video, the reel or the YouTube short of me making my protein coffee, I will have that linked for you down below. So because this is my second protein coffee, I am officially getting in 70 grams of protein just with my coffee alone. So this is an absolute game changer. I've made Ronan a daily harvest. The kids lately are really into breakfast burritos. So I've kind of been taking just like half of a Costco grass-fed burger that's already cooked, chopping it up really small, scrambling up some eggs, then throwing in the grass-fed burger at the end and wrapping it into a tortilla. And they've been having that with a little bit of arugula and avocado. I've been doing a little bit of that as well, but I've just been doing like the eggs and the grass-fed burger, but I'm not quite hungry yet. I'm going to finish off this coffee and then have that as my breakfast. But first we need to make the bed, do a whole bunch of laundry. And then today I'm going to be making some really beautiful and refreshing ice cubes for us to have in our spritzers and different summer waters. And then I want to do a little bit of EFT tapping with you girls. The response when I've shared different EFT tapping techniques and routines with you is always so positive. So as I mentioned a few minutes ago, I haven't even had a three day work week yet. I think since we've started the summer and work is extremely busy right now. So I'm bringing in all of the techniques to help me feel settled during the summertime, to help me feel at ease and relaxed with my family, to enjoy the time with my family and also be realistic as well. So I have a really great EFT tapping technique for all of us moms for those times that we feel overwhelmed, how we don't quite possibly know how we can be present with our children, maintain the house and also get work done. I think that you're really going to love the EFT tapping technique that I'm gonna share with you a little bit later on in today's video. But let's go ahead and start with making the bed because it's driving me crazy and getting some laundry folded and put away. I shared in the video I did two weeks ago how I'm loving this book. I'm almost done. I have 50 more pages left to go, but I have to share with you this little light that I got on Amazon. It's a red light book light, which has been incredible for me at night when I'm doing a little bit of reading, either if Kaya's still awake or if he's already gone to bed. And I actually just ordered one for Ronan as well. I want to say it was like nine or $10. So I will have that linked for you girls in the description box down below, but there's three different modes. I typically do it on the highest one just so that I don't strain my eyes, but I have been absolutely loving this little book light. And so I'm almost done with every summer after, and I'm going to be reading this one next, same time next summer. And so that's kind of actually, let me talk with you girls. The whole reading thing is something I mentioned, like I said, in the video I published two weeks ago, which would be the latest video on my channel because I took last Thursday off for the fourth. But on this glow up to 40 and this that mom routine, I talked about how I had had like this vision of myself, like by the pool, reading books all summer, how I had that vision, but then I also have two small children, six and nine, so I can't quite be by the pool reading books while they are in the water, unless my mom or Kaya is there. So on this quest, I was like, you know, I really want to bring in like the fun rom-com reading. How can I make this happen? And I found that I was like, okay, if I can commit to 10 pages before bed, so that's what, like 12 minutes less of watching a show or scrolling on my phone at night. And then I thought about like different pockets of time during the day when I would maybe pick up my phone and do 
10 to 15 minutes of scrolling. And what I've been doing is just carrying my book around with me. And when I have the urge, if the kids are playing independently or on the days that they're home, which they're currently doing right now, I'm using this opportunity to connect with you. But the days that they're home from summer camp, they have to do 20 to 30 minutes of reading in the morning before they're getting screen time. So during that time, I was just like using that opportunity to get the dishes done and do all of the things that all of us moms have to do. But I wake up earlier than the kids every single day and I use that opportunity to have my quiet time, which is something that's really important to me. To have my lemon ginger tonic, to do my gratitude journaling, to do a little bit of meditation, prayer, all of those things and get some work done. But I decided to cut my work back by 10 minutes unload the dishwasher so that way when they're doing their reading in the morning, I will sit and do my reading with them as well. So I have just found these little pockets of time to get in something that I find is like filling up my cup. So during a that mom day in the life, find what it is to you. To you, maybe it's using those moments when they are playing independently, they're doing their reading, they're doing their bridge books. Maybe for you, it's doing your gratitude journaling. Find these little windows and pockets to get in something that enriches your life because you will be a better mother, a better wife, a better partner. You will show up as the best version of yourself if you feel as though you are filling up your own cup first. We have all heard it a million times, but I want to continue to reiterate that. And for me this summer, I have found it's been these little fun, like rom-com books that's just giving me something to look forward to. And honestly, I just feel like, oh my goodness, like I feel young and wild and free in the summer months, just having that little thing for myself to run off to and escape to my book. And so maybe it's that for you as well. So I will link in the description box down below. Same time next summer, I'm starting that next and every summer after. I've been absolutely loving and even getting in five, 10, 15 minutes here or there to pick it up and read even in the kitchen when I'm sauteing versus sitting there scrolling on my phone, just reading a few pages has been such a beautiful way to truly make me feel like that mom. to get at least one to two loads of laundry put away every day. I feel like that's the only way I can stay on top of it. So I'm happy to have that done. I'm going to get the kids packed up and bring them over to Whole Foods with me because that way at least we're getting out of the house. I do think we're gonna try and go to the pool a little bit later today, but before we head out to Whole Foods, I am going to be taking one of my Bio Optimizers Magnesium Breakthroughs. So I have been sharing about the Magnesium Breakthrough for over two years and I take four of them in a day. I take one first thing when I wake up in the morning with my morning supplement stack, two right around this time in the afternoon, and two before bed. So as a mom in the summer, especially as we're doing that mom routine, it is so important that we are ensuring that we're keeping up and really nourishing our endocrine nervous system. We are all well aware of how it feels to be wound up tight or have a short fuse because we're being pulled 
in a million different directions. And so that's why I love utilizing magnesium, a really incredible tool. In the morning, I use magnesium for cognition and for brain health and for energy. And in the afternoon, I do it a little bit to take the edge off. And then of course, those two magnesiums I take before bed. I do so to get the most incredible, deep, restful sleep. But here's the thing with the Bioptimizer's Magnesium Breakthrough that makes it stand above the rest on the market is that it does contain all seven elemental forms of magnesium in one convenient capsule. So oftentimes when I share how I take one in the morning for brain health and for cognition, that's because the different forms of magnesium are not just meant for deep restful sleep, are not just meant for relaxation. There are so many different utilizations for magnesium and magnesium is necessary for over 300 enzymatic properties in our body. And as you can see behind you, there is beautiful sunshine, but it's been a little bit sunny, a little bit rainy today. And to be honest with you, over the last couple of weeks, we actually need adequate levels of magnesium in our body to properly synthesize vitamin D. So I know that I need an abundance of energy in the summer, especially if I'm trying to get work done, trying to keep the kids entertained and off of screens all day and to make those beautiful long lasting memories with them. I want to utilize my magnesium in the morning to synthesize that vitamin D to give me that great energy here in the afternoon. I'm taking a little bit of magnesium to help keep my cortisol levels down and to help with my endocrine system. And then of course those two magnesium before bed are incredible so that I wake up feeling refreshed the next day and I'm able to be productive and get a lot of things done. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and then we'll pop over to whole foods. So I'm just getting back from Whole Foods. I'll do like a quick once over and show you what I got. But these are a new find for me. I've never seen these before. They're Rudy's Organic Sourdough Hamburger Buns. You all know my love and obsession with the Costco grass-fed burgers. So I was beyond excited to see these at Whole Foods. Most of the time I don't eat a bun, but obviously the kids love a bun with their hamburger. Also, I found organic sourdough hot dog buns. And so we get the Trenton 100% grass-fed Polish sausage, but we call them hot dogs from Costco as well. So I was really excited. So I grabbed two packs of each of these. I'm gonna toss them in the freezer because I don't think we'll make them in like the next week. I will keep you posted in a future video to let you know how they taste. Another thing that I've been getting every single time I go to Whole Foods is their large pasture raised eggs. I have to say it's $4.99. Sometimes they're on sale for even less than that. And when you crack them open, they look identical. I mean, identical to the Vital Farms, but for $3 cheaper. So I grabbed two packs of these. Then we're going to be making some lasagna this week. So I got two packs of these. I did this morning after I did the dishes, I did dump out those flowers that I had behind me earlier because they were looking a little dingy. And so I got fresh, just some greens. I love to do just simple greens in the vase or sometimes I will add either baby's breath or just a really simple white flower. So I grabbed these. So we'll put that together here in a little bit. The kids are watching a show, so everybody's happy right now while I go through the groceries. This is one pound of the no sugar added bacon. We love this bacon. Then I got two pounds of the grass-fed ground beef to go ahead and use that in our lasagna for the week. Some organic heavy whipping cream. We pretty much make 
strawberries with homemade whipped cream on like an every other night basis is like a dessert for the kids and they absolutely love it. I also grabbed these Dave's Killer Bread English muffins. These are great for the kids with the eggs. I love to do this with the eggs and one of these savory turkey breakfast sausages. This makes like a really delicious breakfast sandwich for them, especially on the days when they're going to camp or we're gonna be out for the morning. This keeps them really full and satiated. So we have a slice of cucumber and then half a slice of a lemon in each one of these. And what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of rosemary to each of these and then pour some water over top. I'm just squeezing this in really quickly while the kids are playing outside. One of the things I feel like is most important with a That Mom summer routine is using your time efficiently. So right now the kids are happy, the kids are content, and I feel like that's what's important is recognizing that when I'm in here in the kitchen and I want them to play independently, that of course the house, the playroom, it's going to get used as it absolutely should because that's what it's there for. I know that it's really easy to feel unmotivated, especially when the house is messy. I am the first person who's impacted by my environment. It really truly does have a huge impact on me, the environment, the house, the mess. But at the same time, I know that once I get all of this done, I'm going to feel so much happier and that the kids and I can then do like a quick 10 minute clean and get things done super fast, especially because I know it's probably gonna start raining. It's only like two o'clock in the afternoon and the sky has just turned really dark. We'll have like sunny moments and dark moments. So letting them play outside, get their wiggles out, get that extra energy out while I hurry up and finish some things that I know will be helpful for us throughout the week is a way that I kind of channel my inner that mom energy.
Okay, so I made a huge batch of this chicken, as you can see here, which is going to be amazing to have tomorrow night. As we're in our that mom era, we're doing everything we can to cook ahead in the summertime. So I'm getting ready to assemble all of our bowls. If you have followed me for any period of time, then you know I love to stuff greens on the bottom of my bowls whenever we have pasta. So this is just a really easy way for me to get in my fiber without having to make an extra salad. Most nights I do make a side salad, but today was a busy day as you girls could probably see from hanging out with me. So I didn't really have a chance to throw together a salad. So voila, we have a cup of spinach and now I'm going to just go ahead and add on pasta right on top of this bed of greens. And then we add in our sliced chicken. And then I'm going to add on some Parmesan cheese as well. I'm getting ready to hop in the shower and we're back where we started this video. And I mentioned earlier on that I wanted to do a little bit of EFT tapping. So EFT tapping is a beautiful technique that can really release feelings and emotions and anxiety, not only in our mental load and things that we are carrying around, but in our actual nervous system. I know so many times we think about meditation and yoga and stretching and many of the different healing modalities that I discuss here on my channel and over on Instagram, they can kind of be categorized as a little bit of like woo woo, but there is an astounding amount of science that interconnects our nervous system to our hormone health and our overall ability to regulate our cortisol levels, which is indeed our stress hormone. Well, sometimes we think of these things as being woo woo or things that you potentially honestly don't think move the needle. I am here to assure you that that is absolutely not the case. And so sometimes I know that we can get the kids to bed and maybe we feel a little bit defeated or we're reflecting on our day and we think, huh, I could have handled this better. I could have shown up as a better version of myself in X moment or when this happened throughout the day. And instead of letting that harbor and letting our mind race as we lay in bed and we try and fall asleep. Instead of letting that happen, I'm a big fan of proactively working with our central and anatomic nervous system because ultimately at the end of the day, that regulates, as I mentioned, our stress hormones, our hormones in general, our breathing, our blood sugar, our digestion. So why not get five steps ahead? So let's say you're getting ready to take your evening shower, which I am the biggest fan of. I feel like it just washes away the day and I'm able to wake up refreshed and start fresh the next day. So prior to getting in the shower, this is a really great opportunity to maybe pinpoint out something, either a feeling or a situation that happened, and then we're going to tap on it. So I like to tap in each pressure point, our different places that we're going to be tapping five times. And I like to go through it two times, but this is a really great time to feel intentional and to tune into your body and see if you may need more or less. So here's a great example. We were trying to get to the pool today. There was a brief bit of sunshine right when we got back from Whole Foods, but I had to unpack the groceries. And by the time I was done doing that, the sky literally opened up and it was pouring. So the kids were frustrated. I was frustrated. We all wanted to get out that extra energy. We ended up building an obstacle course in the playroom and making the most of it. 
but there was a good 30 minutes where things weren't really going our way. So instead of me being like, I could have been more empathetic, which I think there's always moments of that, but instead of me sitting here being like, I should have been more empathetic, I should have just taken us in the morning and skipped going to the grocery store, it should have, could have, would have done this. Instead of harboring on that, what we're gonna do, and you can insert anything here as I would do, but instead of harboring on that, we're actually going to just tap through the tapping points. We're gonna start at the top of our head, and I just say, things this afternoon could have gone better. I'm frustrated and so are the kids. All of us felt frustrated by the change of plans. I could have helped them more proactively work through it. I was wishing the day would have gone differently. I was hoping for more fun in the afternoon. The frustration had us all upset for a bit too long. I wish I could have cleared the frustration sooner. We made the most of a bad situation. Our plans changed, but we made the most out of our afternoon. We ended up having a great afternoon, even though it was different than I had imagined. I'm glad we were able to turn it around, even if it took longer than I would have liked. And I'm happy we were able to turn the frustration into fun. It wasn't the day I had pictured, but it ended up being a great one. So there are many points that when I was saying certain things, I actually feel tenderness. And that happens to me frequently. It tends to be the point here under the eye and the outside of my hand, especially if I've been holding a lot of tension. And so you will see and you will find certain phrases, certain situations and scenarios that come up over and over again. And if I were you, I would jot those down in your phone or in a journal and use them as an opportunity to clear that stagnant energy from your nervous system because you will feel so much lighter after you can actually remove this from the body and then you don't feel stuck and stagnant and ruminate over these thoughts. So I would encourage you girls to give the EFT tapping a try. The beautiful thing about this, you know I love supplements, you know I love all of the tools that we have to help with stress, but the beautiful thing about EFT tapping is that it's just using your own two hands. And if we have the gift of having our own two hands, then we have the gift and the availability to kind of help our bodies regulate and get back to that homeostasis. So I hope that you girls enjoyed today's video. And if you did, you can let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And now the subscribe button is right over here on the screen. Give that a click, that way you don't miss a single video. And I hope to see you back here next Thursday.